it is March 8th and we're back uh, continuing on the project here at CDSC. Uh, today we are hanging lights. Uh, we're hoping to get um, at least half the lights hung today. We're also uh, continuing to brace the structure to the walls so that everything is more solid. And we've got a new volunteer who's um, another uh, community organizer here from bed -Stuy. So we keep, we keep gathering more and more volunteers here. Hello guys, I'm going to introduce myself. Shirley. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Shirley Polino. Um, we at, in bed -Stuy have uh, created creative community development through social enterprise yeah. and it's to support each other through our uh, small business endeavors. My enthusiasm comes from social work background and I'd like to offer things that I'm interested in and I'd like my son to participate in to our community even if it's just my block radius. So right now we've, uh, I've opened my home, my ground level, to um, have a hydroponic farm uh, in the cellar possibly or in the rooftop or in the backyard. Um, I reached out to Lee Mandel after seeing the work that he did with Fountain House and I truly believe that things like that, that the things that build community help individuals through stressful situations. They're doing a great job. In a few weeks that they've done this much. Yeah, yeah. I'm spreading the word. Yes, I Anytime I talk to somebody, they, they, they learn about this project. Uh, she had contacted us for um, doing a job, and I told her what was going on here, and she asked if she could volunteer. And whenever somebody asks if they can volunteer, my answer is always yes. We have a really good volunteer group. We don't have fruits and vegetables in our community. Most of us have who want fresh fruits and vegetables have to drive three, four miles to... BJ's or, or fairways, places that are not in our community and giving our money to other communities instead of keeping it to, in, our, in our homes, in our community. So that's, with that thinking, people have been excited. We're going to expand and work with more food pantries and more agencies that are providing services to you know, teach people construction skills, teach people how to grow food, along with getting really high quality produce to them. This project, as we get further along, um, we're going to be doing a big ribbon cutting on the first harvest, and we will send out um, press releases to everybody, print, radio, TV. We want to generate a lot of buzz about this. Whatever's going to keep the youth or whoever starts participating involved with like-minded people to make this project happen, I think, is really more what interested me uh, about the hydroponic farm. That it's not a, you plant and then you kind of come and you harvest. There's a process that is, that entails dialogue, that entails teamwork and community and, and active participation. In terms of how far we are along here, I would say we're two-thirds to three-quarters of the way done before we can plant. Um, I'm hoping to be able to plant possibly by the end of next week. Uh, if not, it'll be early the following week. 